rejection of the truth, Jesus is Lord. God is a no consuming fire, burning away all false desires. Yes, he's gonna burn it away. Well, hello, brothers and sisters, and today I have a great real estate deal for you. How about if I said I could get your mansion right next to the throne of glory? Oh yeah, a mansion in heaven right next to the throne of glory. Okay, I'm joking a little bit, but did Jesus really promise us a mansion? Yeah, let's, let's go see the text. It's in, it's in John chapter 14. He said, Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it was not so, would I have told you that I'd go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and I will take you to myself, that where I am you may be also. Do you see what mention anywhere in that text? Of course not. You actually see that God has one house and he's preparing a room for us. And again, is it about the real estate? Of course not. It is about being with him. How the disciples were with Christ in his humanity when he was incarnate and he's promising something far greater to be with the Father forever. They will get to live, we will get to live in the presence of the Holy God forever. This is something that was unthinkable in the Old Covenant. The fact of being in the Holy of Holies and not die? And that was just the Shekinah glory. We're talking about being face to face with God and living for eternity. Because we'll be in glorified bodies and all that because of Christ. This has nothing to do with real estate. We really need to get out of our minds the idea of physical thing, crowns and mansions and all that, and rewards, and focus more on the fact that eternal life is knowing God. That's what Jesus said in his prayer in John 17. Eternal life is knowing God in an intimate, personal way. It's that we see him in a glass darkly, but soon we'll see him face to face and be with him in absolute perfection forever. And the fact that we are so focused on a physical um blessings of heaven with mansions and, and, and rewards has infected modern Christianity because of it. We are so focused on things we get in heaven that we want these things here on earth too. Rewards and blessings and a good marriage and finances and all that stuff. And I don't even think of prosperity. I have heard it among every circle of Christianity. We're going to get some crowns and we're going to get some rewards here on earth too. Brothers and sisters, please understand what Jesus is actually saying here. He's telling these disciples they're about to lose their their Savior, lose their their Lord, their, lose their Rabbi. That hey, I'm gonna take you with me. I'm gonna come get you again, and you're gonna be with me forever with the Father this time. There's no stuff involved. It's relationship to the infinite degree. This should be our focus. When we have this right, we're going to get Christianity right. But as long as we keep thinking of mansions and crowns and rewards, we're going to have a very earth-based Christianity. But we need to remind ourselves, what is a heavenly citizenship like? It's about being with the Father. It's about being intimate with the Son. Let that sink in. And stop looking for mansions and crowns, brothers and sisters. And start looking for God. With this said, Please don't be 